IntiroCAD has had the ability to create mitered custom parts for a while now, and just to recap, this is an example of it. It's a counter designed and produced by one of our users. It's assembled using the Clamex waffle connectors made by Swiss company Lamello. For completeness, I'll give you a quick example of how to model this and, more importantly, how to convert it to IntiroCAD custom parts. Use any polygonal shape to start with and extrude it to get primitive shape. Then, use the 3D modelling tools to create the shape you want. I'm using a mixture of taper, push-pull, some solid addition and 3D mirror, but anything is possible really. I'll speed this part up a bit to advance you to the interesting bit. Now we've finished modelling, IntiroCAD comes into play. In order to convert this solid into IntiroCAD custom parts, all you need to do is select the custom part tool and then use the create from selection mode. Voila, you have the custom parts, complete with all mitres. You can now add your fittings. In addition to creating a lot of custom parts all around, there's a menu command that will perform this task on individual custom parts. And for Interior Cut 2019, we've added a new menu command that will butt mitre two parts. Let's have a look how that works. Here's a typical example of a corner seat whose backrest needs to be constructed for manufacturing. Without interior cut, you'd normally resort to solids using Boolean operators. If you have interior cut, you can use custom parts. Let's first extract the faces of the solids here. Then we'll delete the solids and with the extracted polygon selected, use the same create from selection mode of the custom part tool to create individual custom parts. Hold down shift to reverse the extrusion. Now with two custom parts selected, go to interior cut, then custom parts, and then cut or resize custom parts. Make sure the part you want to keep unchanged is highlighted. Then hit OK. Now the second part has been butt joined with a mitre to fit it snugly to its adjoining sibling. With this command, custom parts don't need to touch to get joined. You can have custom parts overlap completely with the tool part cutting the blank part, or you can have the blank part projected to the tool part in case there's a gap to be closed between them.